And we're back now at 835 with Generations Today, our special series for Women's History Month. Yeah, all month we're highlighting the greatness of incredible women who rose to the highest of heights from the perspective of those who knew them best, their granddaughters, or in this morning's case, a great granddaughter. Chanel Jones is here with a really remarkable story. Hey, Good Chanel. morning. I enjoyed every moment <laughs> of this interview. Katherine Johnson broke through barriers in the segregated South, working as a human computer for NASA. Her contribution to the space race famously portrayed in the film Hidden Figures. Now her young great-granddaughter is looking to make a mark of her own. The love and math, their love of math and science, passing right on down to her. Nakia Boykin's face lights up when she talks about her favorite subject at school. How long have you loved math? For as long as I can remember, I've always excelled in it. Honestly, the more complex the problem, the bigger rush I get when I get it right. This is every parent's dream. I'm sitting, <laughs> I'm sitting across from you. I've never heard anybody talk about math and get so excited. You could say her love of math is genetic. Her great-grandmother is the late Katherine Johnson, the now famous NASA human computer whose problem-solving skills helped launch the U.S. into space. Her story famously portrayed in the film Hidden Figures. That puts your landing zone at 5.0667 degrees north, 77.3333 degrees west. After the movie came out, and that's when I was like, wow, my grandma really did all of this stuff. Honestly, I was in awe on how smart she was. To Boykin, Johnson was just a beloved great-grandmother who enjoyed crosswords and could play a mean game of rummy cube. She's always competitive with us, and I was too. It was just fun whenever I came down there. That fierce competitiveness made Johnson well-suited for the space race. She pushed herself forward at NASA's Langley Research Center and by doing so, Catherine blew through barriers as a black woman in then segregated Virginia. Joylet Heilick is Johnson's daughter. It doesn't sound like in the moment she saw herself as a trailblazer by any means in that moment, did no. she? No. She said, I was just doing my job, and I did it well. Johnson helped design the tracking system that predicted where John Glenn would land after he orbited the Earth. The astronaut famously asking her to back check the math before he launched. Let's get the girl to check the numbers. I don't believe he knew her by name. I believe he knew her reputation mm -hmm. because she said, I always did my best. Do your best, a motto her great-granddaughter took to heart when she was in just third grade. As I understand it, you guys were taking a standardized test and you were looking at that math portion and I heard you wanted to, to ace it. Is that true? I wanted to do my very best like she always would tell me. She did more than just ace the math test. Nakia got a perfect score. I like that. Guess what I got on my own um, math as well. I was like, I got 600. And we were just jumping up and down and laughing and everything. She couldn't wait to tell her great-grandmother the news. She must have been so proud. She was just, she was proud of me. I could tell she was happy. At a school assembly, Nakia was sure to give credit where credit was due. I would really like to give my great-grandmother, Katherine Johnson, a special thanks for inspiring me and a whole generation of young people to achieve our dreams. What does it feel like to see that gene or that love of math now uh, carried down to her great-granddaughter? You know, the thing is, we were no none of us, me, my kids, their kids, never heard math was hard. So that is one of the big things, I think, because we just did not get a negative attitude about science or math. Boykin is now in seventh grade and is more positive about math than ever. I'm in Algebra 1 and we're... Wait, time out. You are in seventh grade and you're doing Algebra 1? Yeah. I think I started that in high school. <laughs> <laughs> As for a career? I don't know if I'm going to work at NASA or anything like she did, but... Math definitely will always be with me as I get older. Nakia's future wide open, in part because of the path her great-grandmother charted. Do you have any hopes for her in the future? Oh, of course. The sky is the limit. The moon is the limit. 
You know what I what I noticed? So uh, we would talk about other things, art, and all the things mm -hmm. she likes to do. But when we talked about math, yeah. I mean, Berkeley. her body just yeah. you know her body language, her eyes lit up, yeah. and we talked about it. Is it nature versus nurture? I mean, do, is it? Well, it genetic? sounds like that's the family business. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so maybe it's a little bit of both. Yeah. They enjoy they it. Do, they enjoy. If, if that's what you're taught, and that's what you're yeah, you're going to be good right. at this. Right. We're all good at this. We they said they were never worried about math. They were never stressed about math. So then you walk in and you don't think it's a thing. Right. Yeah. It's, just, it's math. Right. It's math. But so. her acing the standardized that's test insane. at that age. Who gets a perfect yeah. score yeah. on a that's standardized that's test? That's special. Yeah. All right. Chanel, that's, that's a great you. series. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.